let's get more uh, fresh context this time around to the essence of Good Friday. Clergy, Pastor Emmanuel Okonko is live with us in the studio. Many thanks, Pastor Emmanuel Okonko. Thank you for having me. Good Friday, good for Christians, yes. bad for Jesus Christ from what we know. Yes, yes. Uh, the, the, perhaps the most uh, uh, important day on the uh, Christian calendar. Uh, and you know we, we're happy for what Jesus did on, on this day, and so uh, we we can we can describe it enough. And uh, then the question has been asked: How much of the qualities of the sacrifice that Jesus Christ did is being emulated in modern day Christians in Nigeria? How would you react? Well, um, you, you've got a point, point there. My, my, the problem is that we're not we're not preaching those those qualities. We are uh, very few uh, very few churches are still uh, preaching Jesus. So we, we we're preaching all these other things. You see, people would only uh, people would do what they are told. People would uh, dance to the music they are played. So if we're not preaching it, if we're not if we're not uh, uh, preaching Christ and and all these things that He's done then it would be wrong to expect people to practice what we haven't preached. We have to preach it first. So we, we, you know, we're saying all these other things, but very few churches are still uh, preaching Jesus and, and who he is and what he did. Right, and then when we preach, when this is preached in, yes. in churches across the, the world, so yes. to speak, how much of this nugget or this teachings when practiced will be an answer to the burdens of the world now? Oh yeah, it, 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 it is. Uh, if we practice what Jesus has done, for instance, uh, just um, a sacrifice, the, the vicarious sacrifice, being able to uh, take pain for, for somebody else. Uh, imagine if we did it in our country. Imagine if people would uh, uh, sacrifice for, for, for others. Imagine if our politicians uh, will sacrifice for the masses. Imagine if our president will sac sacrifice for the populace. Just that lesson alone will, will, will totally transform our nation. And so we are where we are today because we have not, we have not actually, we haven't preached those, those, um, uh, those qualities of Jesus. And even when we have preached it, we haven't practiced it. The president and other uh, top personalities in the country have called for peaceful coexistence, brotherliness in, in a time like this. Yes. Uh, how significant is this to a country like Nigeria that's filled with, with you know, various other religions? True. Uh, well, well uh, uh, Christ was a man of peace. Remember, he was the one who revolutionarily said, uh, if someone slaps you on one cheek, uh, uh, turn, turn the, the other. And if somebody demands that you go one mile with them, go two miles. Uh, th th those are things that we need today, especially in this uh, 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 climate of intolerance. Uh, so uh, if there's any country that needs the message of Jesus preached and practiced, our nation should, should, should come out as, as number one. And because we're not preaching it and we're not practicing it, uh, we're even in a worse situation than, 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 than you know, we should be. Right. We wish you a fruitful uh, Easter season. Thank you very much, uh, Pastor Emmanuel Okonkwo, for, for all these points. Thank you.